Hello everyone, today we're going to do some state management with set state. So today we're going to build a very basic application. Let's say we want to build an application that we can choose what our favorite fruit is for the day. I know it's extremely valuable. So the first thing we're going to do is set up main and we're going to point that to run app. Inside run app, we're just going to point to my app. We're going to go ahead and import our material package. So this is something we haven't done yet, but I'm going to do what's called a stateful widget. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of details about stateful widgets right now. Just know that we need that to pass around variables. So I'm going to type in class my app extends stateful widget. I'm going to type in override. Then I'm going to type in my app state, create state, fat arrow, underscore my state. Okay, so now we're going to create my app state. So we're going to type in class underscore my app state, extends state my app. And you're going to see right here, we're missing the concrete implementation of state.built. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in override again. We're going to type in widget build, build context, context. Okay, so now we're going to set up two different variables. We're going to set up a title variable and we're going to set that to my favorite fruit is. And we're going to set up a fruit variable that is just labeled as unknown currently. So inside here, we're going to start building our look. So I'm going to type in return material app. It's going to have a home of scaffold. Inside the scaffold, we're going to build an app bar of app bar. Inside there, we're going to do a title with a text of title plus fruit. So that's going to take care of the app bar. In fact, we might be able to go ahead and run this. So let's try it. Okay, and there you see it. My favorite fruit is unknown. So my favorite fruit is currently unknown. So just to reiterate what we've done, we called material app, which gives us access to the material widgets. We called scaffold, which gives us access to the app bar. And we created an app bar with the title of the title plus the fruit, which says my favorite fruit is unknown. And because we're using this build here, we can actually hot reload now. So if I type in here plus exclamation mark and hit save, you'll immediately see it over here now. So I'm going to take that back out and now I'm going to do a body with a column. This column is going to have children, one of which is going to be an elevated button. So with the elevated button, we're going to give it a child of text apples. And we're going to do an on pressed, which we're going to just leave blank for now. We'll hit save. And you can see our button over here. So one thing I am going to do real quick is I want to cut that, put a center in there, a child, Paste that back in, hit save, and now it's centered. So inside this on pressed, I'm going to go ahead and set fruit equal to apples. So we're going to save that. And you'll notice when I click apples, nothing happens. It should be changing this to my favorite fruit is apples, and it's not. So I'm going to type in here print fruit and hit save. And when I press this button now, you will see that it's changing it to apples. It's just not updating the app bar. 
this is where set state is going to come in handy. So what we can do now is we're going to cut this. I'm going to type set state and I'm going to put fruit equals apples in there. So my favorite fruit is unknown, but if I click apples, it now changes to apples correctly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this elevated button, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to paste it a few more times. I'm going to change the second one to oranges. And I'm going to change the third one to bananas. When I hit save, you'll now see three buttons over here. And as I choose each one, you'll see apples, oranges, and bananas. So it is changing each one individually. So this is the simplest way I can show you set state. However, this is a little bit redundant in the fact that I have these three elevated buttons. And this is where it's going to get complicated. So I'm going to create a new class where I can simplify these buttons a little bit. So down here, I'm gonna create a class called fruit button and it's going to extend a stateless widget. I'm going to set up a final string called fruit. I'm going to grab the name of the fruit. When this is called, I'm going to do another override and another widget build. So right here, I'm going to return elevated button. I'm going to give it a child of text fruit. And I'm going to set on pressed to blank for now. Add my semicolon. So up here now, we can remove these three elevated buttons. We don't need those anymore. Instead, I'm going to call fruit button with fruit of apples. And then I'm going to call it again with fruit of oranges. And I'm going to call it one more time with bananas. Okay, so now you see that it looks exactly the same, but this is a lot cleaner up here and the code is only in one place. But the problem we're going to run into now is our variables that we want to use are in my app state and we've passed the fruit down into the fruit button, but we need to notify my app state that the fruit has changed so it can update the app bar accordingly. So there's a couple of ways we can do that, but we're gonna to try to keep it as simple as possible for this example. So the first thing we're going to do is up here in my app state, we're going to create callback. We're going to be looking for a variable I'm gonna call var fruit. Inside there, we're gonna set the state and I'm going to set fruit equal to var fruit. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add callback, callback here. We're going to add it to all three of them. Then down here in the fruit button, we're going to add final function callback. Inside here, we're going to add this callback. So inside this on pressed here, we're going to just add callback fruit. So when one of these buttons is clicked, it's going to call the callback with the name of the fruit, which is up here. It's going to take that fruit and it's going to set it to the variable at the top here. And then when it rebuilds, it will change the title and the fruit accordingly. So let's give it a try. Okay, so the app currently says my favorite fruit is unknown. If I click apples, 
it changes to apples. If I click oranges, it changes to oranges. And of course, if I click bananas, it changes to bananas. So this is somewhat clean at the moment, but you could see where this could get painful in a much larger application. So there are other state management options out there and we will get into those in future videos. So here's a video you might be interested in, or if you'd like to see more videos in the future, you can click the subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.